Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Monday night. And now, I, I, I don't know, is this two Monday night games every week now? I thought we used to just do this um, the first week of the season, but I guess this is the new normal. Actually, in some regards, having the second game start, I think, or yeah, well, the first game starting at 7.30, that this is kind of good. It's kind of good uh, to go ahead and have this and get it out of the way. Um, a couple of updates. One for the Eagles, okay? Um, Philly 500 has been excited. He's been excited um, about the prospect of trading back for Hassan Reddick, okay? Um, what I saw on Bleacher Report today, um, actually, I should I should have it up. Let me, let me go to it right now. Um, Ian Rappaport cleared up... Um, cleared it up that the Eagles cannot cannot trade back for Hassan Reddick. Okay? Due to the holdout uh, audit. Jets can't trade Hassan Reddick back to the Eagles among contract dispute. Hassan Reddick continues his holdout after failing to agree on a rework contract with the New York Jets while the team that traded him to the Big Apple this offseason. The Philadelphia Eagles have suffered through a non-existence pass rush through four games. That has naturally let some talk to the talk that the two teams should agree to a take see back see on the deal, but it turns out the NFL rule prohibits such an arrangement for two years. I didn't know that because... Dwayne Thomas, if I remember correctly, the Dallas Cowboys traded him to New England, in which case, two weeks later, they traded him back. So this may be something new. Here's the full rules per Ian Rappaport. Reacquisition of a traded player. A player who has been traded cannot return to the club that took such action until two seasons have elapsed, including the season of the year in which the, he has left the club. Unless one of the following exceptions apply, a traded player must have been on the active inactive list of the assigned club. He hasn't been on that. Any club beyond the assigned club or a combination thereof for a minimum of four regular season or postseason games, after which the original assessor's club may require the player by waiver assignment or free agent signing. The four-game requirement specifically herein may span two regular seasons if applicable. Or, a traded player must have been on the active-inactive list of the assigned club, any club beyond the assigned club, or combination thereof for less than four regular season games or postseason games, and must have been placed on waivers or terminated by the assigned club. So basically, what we're saying is, is, the Eagles, unless Hassan Reddick plays a minimum of four games or gets released or plays for another team, they can't trade with the Jets to get him back. So for you uh, Eagles fans, all I have to say is, ha-ha, <laughs> ha-ha. <laughs> yeah, ha-ha <laughs> is right. That, that, that's exactly what I have to say about that. So um, that will be one area that you cannot trade to get him back so just putting it out there just letting you eagle fans know that that just ain't happening so that does open the door for other teams possibility to make a trade for him now here's another player that's out there apparently it seems like amari cooper has worn out his welcome with the cleveland browns um, i'm kind of amazed by that one i guess um, somebody has to be the fall person, and I guess Amari Cooper having the contract that they can get out of is easier to get out of than it would be for Deshaun Watson. It's not like either of them have been doing great things with them. Although I will say, Amari uh, Cooper, um, going by past relationships, um, when we traded for Amari Cooper from the Raiders, it seemed like he had checked out with them. Things weren't working good between him and Derek Carr. 
once he got to some place that he liked with the Cowboys and working with Dak Prescott, immediately he turned it around and had ended up basically saving the Dallas Cowboys season. It seems like, I don't know, I, I'm not there with the Cleveland Browns on a regular basis to know, but it seems like they may be getting to that point where right now this season seems to be slipping away from the Cleveland Browns. They are not a good team, and you know maybe Amari Cooper kind of senses that and would like to go someplace else. So um, he may be a person that could be on the move. Now, <laughs> the thing that kills you is, you know, I, I'm Joe the fan, okay? I'm not an NFL expert or anything like that. I've never worked in a front office. You know, I've never been on a professional team. I don't manage multi-million dollar contracts, okay? Much like all my brethren here on YouTube, but we all have seen the same things that have been spot on about problems with the Cowboys. We looked and we say the Cowboys need another playmaking wide receiver, which is kind of like what other teams realize. It's not like this is something that's new. We also recognize that as much as we love Zeke and the nostalgia of Zeke and everything else and seeing the whole, you know, seeing Zeke eat, the reality is, is we all knew that Zeke was kind of spent. And apparently the Cowboys aren't even trying to put him in that much. I mean, he's got three carries last week, what, six this week? They're not really even using him. And you can see what Derrick Henry has done for the Baltimore Ravens. And as we go through this, we hear... Jerry Jones, of course, talking about, well, we couldn't afford that guy. We couldn't afford that guy. You know, at some point you got to say, you know what? I'm going to go into debt because I need this. And that's where we look at this and say, and we can look at this and we can say, Amari Cooper would definitely help us out. And maybe Amari Cooper, you know, finding out the grass isn't greener on the other side, you know, he might like the black uh, Kirk Cousins now. He, he, he just might like the black Kirk Cousins. Um, although the rumors are, of course, with uh, Rasheed Rice being lost pretty much for the year, that Kansas City may be into the fray of trying to get him for the Kansas City Chiefs. And um, that's one of those teams that say, you know what, we do have the best quarterback in football, but we're going to make sure that he's got some weapons to go along with it. So we'll see if the Cowboys do anything. Um, like all of us think that they need to do. We, we all think that they need to. Will they? I doubt it. I doubt it. But we can always dream. All righty, good people. I appreciate y'all. And uh, I'm going to be starting my live stream in about 10 minutes from now. So I'll see you there. Peace out.